All right, Bolo Buddies, you asked for this video and I made it for you and it is going to knock your socks off. So let me know where they land. Let's get started. Three, two, one. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, so I've had some requests for a video on... Hello, Courtney. Well, I'm finally getting around to sending this your way. Only two months later, LOL. This button was purchased on Whatnot Bolo Buddies, so she bought it from me. Yay, I don't know. Is that good or bad? No, I'm kidding. Um, I get excited when you guys buy things from me and flip them for a profit. I really appreciate you guys coming over and supporting me on Whatnot. I'm glad you guys are getting some bolos. So she said, I paid $50 for an entire tin of interesting old buttons. But this one is why I wanted it. Knew it would be a good one. After doing research on WorthPoint, thanks to you. Yeah, I always tell you guys, WorthPoint is a great tool to research harder to find items. And uh, it just helps you get comparables to know how to list your item. I do have a link for WorthPoint down below. I also have videos that tell you how WorthPoint works. You can type Bolo Buddies WorthPoint into the YouTube search bar and find those videos. So anyway, she said, I still have all the other buttons to list. So they were all clear profit. Love you and your videos. Thank you. Sorry, I was unable to download my screenshot, but enclosed a photo of the button. Here is the button. This is what it looks like. And it sold for $149.99 with one bid. And this comes from Sharon Sells 49. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. And if anybody else has bought anything from me or anyone else, please go over to the Facebook group and share your whatnot bolo. These are super fun because it's new. It's a new place to source. All right. So let's talk about buttons. Oh my goodness. So the button you just saw was one single button for $149. And she got it from me on Whatnot. So you guys, I would love for you to come follow me on Whatnot. There is a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you use that link to join. And I would love to see you guys at one of my shows. All right. So Let's talk about some different buttons. This one is a rare vintage 1960s mod French flower button with yellow vinyl and turquoise resin. How on earth does somebody know that something like this is worth so much money? Um, I went into one seller's feedback and then I went into their store and they specialize in buttons. And this is definitely something that you would have to study and really, really learn but wow, buttons can go for a lot. I thought I was getting a lot when I sold the buttons on whatnot for $50. I was thrilled with that. And now after looking at this video, I'm like, oh my goodness. Now I see why people are buying buttons. This one button sold for $90.89. This one here is an antique post medieval uh, 1700s to 1750s period bronze button with flower. Again, this seller just knows their stuff. Sold it for $98.83 on auction. Look at this. I mean, would you have ever looked twice at this button? I know I wouldn't have. It's an Italian design trade button. Wavy top carved coppery resin from the 1940s to the 60s. So again, just lots of really good keywords and the seller knows what they're doing. $99.67 for one button. This is another one. This one is unusual old cast white metal pewter button with ancient style shank and Nordic design. $145.06 for one button. This one here is a Leah Stein road rhodoid rhodoid i'm not sure how to say that button shades of gray uh black and white laminates i mean it's really a pretty button but who would have thought that it would sell for 154 dollars and 39 cents this one here is an antique fauceted genuine amethyst gemstone weight coast weight coat i'm sorry waistcoat button with gilt rim and seed pearl. And I think I sold a button similar to these in one of my lots. Um, I think mine was black. So maybe not worth as much as this one. This one went for 157.50 plus shipping. 
This one is an antique 19th century Victorian uh, Venetian blown glass ball button with painting inside. Stunning. $158.88. This here is an antique 1850s pierced one piece steel button with intricate spoke design. NOLA. NOLA or NOLA? I don't know. But anyway, how on earth they know it's from the 1850s? I guess it's probably just from the, the, the studying and the research because all of their buttons are incredible. Antique, rare, late 16th, early 17th, post-medieval period bronze button, 161.29. I mean, I would have looked right past it. This one is cool. Lovely antique 1900s to 1920s pierced silver button with genuine sp spinach jade jewel. Jade buttons, guys. 162.39. This one right here is an antique 1920s gold filled waistcoat button, pinwheel rim, fauceted glass jewel. Amazing, amazing keywords. 162.39 on this button. This one is a beautiful antique 1920s Robin's egg blue swirled glass jewel button with pearl rim. It looks like jewelry. You know, it reminds you of a brooch. $162.39 on that one as well. Wonderful antique 1930s Art Deco ruby red mirrored glass flower button. $170.36 on auction. And that is a interesting back. You can see it kind of goes through that way. Here's another one. It's an antique 19th century blue violet pearl crescent moon buckle button with cut steels. And, you know, I was going to go through and I was going to try to find buttons from other sellers. And I'm like, why? This seller has so many interesting, amazing buttons with fantastic keywords. Like, this is perfect. $171.42. And I'm trying to figure out what is the top and what is the back? That one's interesting, but definitely a bolo. Antique 19, I'm sorry, 1890s to 1920s hand enameled Persian silver button with birds. Just stunning. 172.17 on auction. This next item is this gorgeous antique 19th century gilt brass button set with turquoise glass cabochon jewels. So you guys, if you are looking for buttons, this is your seller. They have so many buttons. I'm going to show you. Uh, 172.17. And look at their feedback. 21,455 feedback. Wow. Hunter's Antiques. This is a fabulous 19th century bovine bone horn and abalone inlay whistle button. And this one sold for $180.36. The next one is this antique 1820s to 1830s golden age gilt brass button with beautifully chased top. Here it is. And it's sold for $181.26 on auction. All of these are auctions. Delightful antique French Victorian gilt brass button with enameled flowers. Um, a lot of times, you know, you hear people say don't use uh, descriptive words like delightful. And I can't remember some of the other ones that this seller used, but this seller is using them and they are selling for big money. So it's not hurting anything. Um, a lot of times they'll say use words that describe the button, but that is kind of describing the button. $191.97 plus shipping. Beautiful. Antique late 19th century. Uh, Valet. Venetian glass button with blue forget-me-not overlays. Look at that. That is stunning. $192.39 plus shipping. This next item is an antique Victorian gold-filled gents waistcoat button with lovely uh, carnelian jewel. And that is what it looks like. Again, remind you of a brooch, right? $192.39 on that. Some of these buttons go for more than brooches. Antique sterling silver Art Nouveau button with green, pale, yellow, plum, and enamel. Did you hear how Nouveau just kind of flowed? 
<laughs> All right. I kind of stuttered a little bit. Um, I used to uh, say that way wrong. But anyway, I know how to say it now. So yay me. All right. Here it is. Look at this button. 192.39 for that one. This is a 1920s French Art Deco cranberry red and vanilla swirled celluloid cookie button. I was going to say celluloid, Bakelite. Those buttons can do really well. This one sold for $203.52 plus shipping. What do people do with these buttons? I mean, do they collect them? Like, why do they sell for so much money? If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. Uber fine antique Victorian gilt brass button with 18th century silk damask floral. Great photos, and here is the back, made in Paris, $212.48 on that one. Rare antique Victorian black ball button with yellow and green glass coralline flowers. Wow. Look at that. $255 on auction. Incredible. The next item is this rare antique Sterling Charles Horner button with flowers on flower design from 1901. And right here is, I guess, the little button thing. I was wondering if it's marked Sterling anymore or if they just knew that it was, if they tested it. I have no idea. I'm not. Maybe that's a marking right there. That might be your marking, uh, your designer. $263 plus shipping. The next item is this ornate antique. Um, oh gosh, I don't know how to say that. Etruscan revival gilt silver granulated button with champ leaf enamel. Oh goodness, I probably said that all wrong, but look at this button. $294.89. And I'm guessing these are hard to find items, guys. That's why they're going for so much money. Stunning antique French Victorian gilt brass pansy button with champlove enamel. Here it is. And $294.89 plus shipping. This one is a vintage Lee Stein rhodoid. Rhodide, I don't know how to say that, button, shades of burnt orange and white laminates. So there was one of these earlier that did not go for as much. This one has a more unique design to it, and it went for $303.03 plus shipping. Antique 1920s silver waistcoat button with pearl and bezel set natural blue sapphire. This one is actually, it looks like it's signed, $334.67 plus shipping. The next item is this 1940s to 60s French design trade button, stellar, icy, fern, green, and white rhodoid. $338.55 plus shipping. And I apologize if I am pronouncing that word wrong. This is what it looks like on the back. And the next one sold for $498.89 plus shipping. It's an antique 19, I'm sorry, 1870s to 1880s French Victorian brass open work button with cut steel star. Now, here's what we're gonna do. There's your button, almost a $500 button. Let's go into seller's other items. And you're gonna see here, they have 89 items available and they are on auction. You can see this one's only at $1.40. So they start their auctions, it looks like at maybe $1.40. And Let's look at, can we sort by highest? Highest first. Is that a button? I don't know if that's a button or not. Maybe it is a button. Because I think everything in here is buttons. So you can see um, right now, this one has 18 bids. It has a day left. So lots of really, really fantastic buttons. But you can see a lot of these are bread and butter. So a lot of buttons are going to be bread and butter. Let's go into the solds and let's sort low to high. Is it going to work? Hello? Hello? Let's try that again. Go down to sold. And I am highest to lowest. So I'm just going to scroll through here. And I showcased most of these, but I just want you to see that there are some that I did not showcase, but I stopped at a certain point. And if you keep going, 
you are going to see more. Like, look at this one, bubblegum pink, $150 for that button. These grapes, there's a lot of these that I did not show you that are over $100. So go in, check out the keywords. Just an incredible way to learn. This seller has amazing stuff. So if you are a button collector, I highly recommend that you go and check out their store. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. But look at all these amazing buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. And it sounds like they start all of their buttons at like that $1.40 range. I'm That's basically what I'm seeing. Don't quote me on that. You'll have to check. But look, these are still in the $70 to $80 range. Now let's go back up here and let's search. Let's search low to high because they did do auctions. So they are taking a risk, but there's over a thousand solds. But look at this. I mean, you just don't know. This button is beautiful and it went for $1.40. So what they are doing is they are building a clientele of button collectors, people that are coming back because they know they're going to start the auctions low. They know they may be able to find a really, really awesome deal. And some of these are just going for $1.40. Look at them all. But the other ones go for so much more. And that's kind of like what whatnot is, you know, you start your items low and you hope that the right buyers are there. And if they're not, sometimes your items go for way less than they're worth. I mean, Amber and Black Tiger Stripe, that's beautiful, $1.40. But yeah, I mean, these buttons are awesome. Really, really awesome. So many, many, many go for $1.40. So not all buttons are created equal. And maybe these are only worth $1.40, but I'm thinking if they started it on auction, that they are just willing to take that chance and know that sometimes when you start your auctions low, you get people bidding like a bidding war. But sometimes when you start your auctions low, you lose out on money. So let's look at their store here. It is, I'm Hunt Hunters. I'm going to say that's Hunters Antiques. So definitely go and check them out. You can save them as a seller. You'll get updates when they post new buttons, but it looks like it is buttons, buttons, and more buttons. So uh, go give them a follow. All right, you guys, what did you think about that? Are you totally impressed? Oh my goodness, I'm totally impressed by the buttons. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I have a whole bunch of videos like this that teach about particular categories. You can go to the playlist. It says Bolo Category Videos, and you can click on that. There's hundreds. Check it out. Thanks for watching.